Welcome to the preview of the new BotPress Studio. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new studio, but before that, I'd like to show you how to ask questions and leave feedback. To do that, go to the top left and click the BotPress icon, then back to dashboard. And on the bottom right, you can click the chat icon to talk to our agents. Without further ado, let's jump back to the studio. You just need to click open in studio like this. Okay, wonderful. So now I just want to uh, give you a quick overview of the whole thing. You have the main panel right here. So whenever you're editing something, this is really the main area of interaction. Here on the right, you have a secondary panel, which is basically just uh, context or options for whatever you select in your main panel. On the bottom is where you can talk to your chatbot using the emulator and you can test it out. And on the left, you have navigation. If you look at it real quick, you see something called topics. Topics are a way for you to organize your bot, but it also helps our machine learning engine figure out what to respond. In this case, however, we just have one topic. We're keeping it simple. Every topic can have two different things. So the first is uh, a flow. Uh, this is the main flow. The main flow is the one that starts uh, your, your whole bot application. And the other thing you can have are Q and A's basically just questions and answers that don't require any context. So if we go to library right here, we see that there's also intents and entities. So intents are just detecting what the user is looking for right now. And we have hooks right here. This is for programmers. Uh, when a user sends a message, when the bot is going to respond, you can have your developer do something here. It's useful for analytics. Uh, it's useful for sentiment analysis. All right, I'm going to click Explorer right here and open up the main flow. So these are all something called nodes. What a node is, it's a place for a user to be in a conversation. Basically, they will start at the entry node always, and they will move down like this towards the next node. And then here we can put some conditions, some logic. So in this particular case, if the user was already greeted, we don't need to greet him again, which is what we do in this node. We can send him on towards the next node. Okay, so that's it for the general overview. In the next video, I will go through this bot node by node, and I'll show you how everything works.